hello friends today in this tutorial i will be introducing to a new javascript library which is drawing board.js so with the help of this library you can just integrate a drawing board inside your application so this is a application that we will be building so here, here you can just see that you can just click on it and change colors and you can just change this to yellow color you can see that you can always erase all this stuff you can see that you can erase something you can just draw something here and you can also decrease the size also the zoom level you can see that you can just draw something here and you can also delete something here so you can see that just press this button so all these things will be deleted and uh, you can always take the image here so click on the take image button and uh, it will be downloaded as a png image you can see that uh, you can just make anything here and draw something and take image you will see that it will take the image if I open this you will see that for this specific purpose we are using some of the libraries as I already told you we are using this library drawing board.js in order to draw a board inside our application so these are some of the examples which are given also we are using the file saver library in order to download as a PNG image and also we are using this library which we have discussed in the last tutorial in order to convert our DOM into an image which is DOM to image. So let's start building this application from scratch. So first of all guys uh, we will be starting from a clean file index.html. So right here at the very top we will be importing the we will be writing a HTML document. So just write here a HTML document. So just give it a title of drawing board and uh, inside our body we will be having uh, uh, first of all just import the CSS part of the drawing board library. So we have this drawing board CSS. I have already uh, just copy pasted from the documentation. So if you go to uh, here, if you go to here, uh, just type here. Let me just uh, show you how to get the CSS part. So just uh, search for drawing board dot .js github. So it will redirect you to the github repository of this library. So here just go to the CSS folder. So here you will get all the CSS code of the library. And uh, this is a file drawing board dot CSS. Either you can just download it or you can just go to the raw portion here. Just click the, click the raw portion and uh, copy paste all, all this code and create create a new file here which is drawing board of CSS and uh, copy paste all the code. And now we just need to include this file so with the help of a link tag. So we will be just be importing this file which is drawing board CSS. And also we just need to get all the scripts here. So let me just copy paste all the scripts for you. First of all we are importing jQuery and secondly we are importing this dom to image library in order to convert our dom to an image so this is the library that we are using here dom to image so just search for the cdn and also we are using this file saver.js so this will be useful for downloading as a png image so this is a library you can see that file saver so just grab the cdn and lastly we are using this uh, js part of the drawing board min.js so this is a library in order to integrate the drawing board inside of our application so these are the four libraries we are using and now in the body portion we just need to have a div portion so we just need to give it a id of div so inside this we just need to style it so just give a style attribute and uh, here we will be styling it just give it a width of uh, 500 pixel and a height of 500 pixel and uh, let me also give it a border of 1 pixel solid black that's it so now if I see it you will see that if I refresh the application you will see that this div will be displaying here so it is just refreshing here so just wait you will see that this is a div that we have made here so now in this div we will be integrating a drawing board so first of all we will also be having a button in order to trigger that action so just after that we will be having a button just give it the id of button so we will be having the label take image so it will be useful to take the image of the drawing board and now we will be writing our javascript code so right here just make a script tag 
So inside this we will write the document.ready function. So inside this document.ready function first of all guys we just need to initialize the on click listener of the button. So we will just write uh, when we click the button we will bind the click listener. So when we click the button we just need to take the photograph. So for taking the photograph it is very simple we just need to go to we will repeat our last tutorial on how to convert the DOM here. So we will use this function you can see that uh, we will use this function guys so just I will copy paste it here so just copy it and paste it here so we will use this DOM to image library we will, we will convert that to blob so here I will replace the ID which we have given to the div which is div here so div so let me just rename the picture name to picture dot png so we will be saving that as a png image now if I want to test it and uh, let me just test it if it is taking the image you can see that it is taking the image here of the div now we just need to integrate the drawing board so for integrating the drawing board it is very easy just go to the documentation of this plugin here and here you just need to uh, copy paste this code here and right here inside your just out, outside your button on click just outside you just need to initialize it so here you just need to pass the id of the div element so we have given this id div you just need to pass it here div just delete the background we don't need the background and controls we want true control so we just initialize it to true and here you can just pass a color and now if i just see it will be integrated with the you can see that now you can you can just draw something here you can see that this color is specified by this property you can see that you can just change this color let's suppose I change it to black or oh sorry black will be triple zero this is a hexadecimal code now if I refresh it this will be black you can see that now I can just take the image you can see that it this will be you can see that and now I can add some more controls here so just go to the documentation of this plugin so here this is a default example so here you can just add a background also background color you can add these controls so let me just copy paste it here so if I just delete it and once again I copy paste it so I have added a controls array here so it has a size property also navigation also we can just go to back also forward also let me just make it true and forward also to true and inside this let me also add a color property so just add this color property put a comma that's it and now if you refresh it you will see that all these controls will be there inside it if you want to undo something you can just click this back arrow it will be all be gone if you want to go forward let's suppose I want to go backward so if you want to go forward you can just press this icon you will be have this backward and forward functionality built it inside this drawing board you can even change the color let's suppose I want the to change the color to blue you can just change, change it you can see that and if you want to erase something you can just use this eraser to erase something here you can see that you can even uh, change the background color here with this background property let's suppose I want to change the background to white so triple F will be white and uh, now if I refresh it you will see that so in this way guys you can just uh, make this uh, you can always take the image by pressing this button here just press this button take the image you will see that so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much